talk about this. So what, where <laughs> you were just commenting on my shoes, Tatiana Suarez, head of UFC 228 with Jim Edwards here. Tatiana was just commenting on my shoes, yes. saying how great they are. But Tatiana, look, what are you wearing today and uh, how have you dressed up for media day? You know, a little Scottish inspiration. No, I'm just <laughs> Bit of tartan. Huh? Bit of tartan. Yeah, yeah, tartan. For sure. I like the accent. I wish I had one. <laughs> Big fight coming up on Saturday, Carla Esparza. Um, you guys are both known, I guess, for your kind of wrestling backgrounds. Right. I know you actually uh, grew up kind of quite locally on the regional scene as well, yes. competing with each other. Uh -huh. Is that kind of awkward in a way, or do you, would you prefer to be fighting someone you don't really know that much? No, I don't feel like it's awkward. You know, uh, I've always said, you know, um, it's always business. You know, I could, I could fight a friend. And I even said, like, a couple of interviews, I'm like, I could fight my sister and I'd be okay with it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you probably did when you were younger, right? Uh, no, she's much younger than me, so okay. I'd, I'd be like a little bit of a bully if I did that, you know, <laughs> so, um, no. But I mean, uh, business is business, you know, and it's a sport, you know, um, this is, uh, it's a sport. It's not like a big deal, you know, I don't, I don't feel like, I feel like if, even with basketball, you know, if you like, we're friends and you played against each other, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, you know. I mean, this is a little different because you get to punch each other in the face and hurt each other, but, you know, I still think, like, you understand, you know, because you know the name of the game, this is a sport. You've caught, I'm guessing you probably caught each other's eye because you're, like, literally sat across each other here in the media room. Like, has that, have you, uh, have you, uh, I guess, like, seen each other in the hotel at all this week? Or? Uh, I, this is, I think I saw her, like, running one day, like, down this, hotel yeah um, but no she like won't look this way so <laughs> what, what, are, what are the relations like between you two is it cordial like have you seen what she's been saying about you in the press or no um i don't i don't know what she's been saying about me i don't really like watch you know the interviews and stuff like that but um yeah it's cordial i'm always cordial with all of my opponents like i have nothing you know bad against any of my opponents Unless, you know, like, then they start talking smack, then I'm like, uh, okay. You know, but then, um, but usually I'm not, even then, like, I don't, I'll, afterwards I'll still shake their hand. You know, I'm still cool with them. Um, like, I know Amanda Bobby Cooper before our fight, you know, she was talking a little bit. And even now, like, to this day, I still talk to her on social media and I wish her well and I wish her well in her, like, uh, fight game and everything like that. So, I, you know, like, I, I don't think you need to have, like, anger or hatred towards someone to, like, fight them, you know. The women's divisions there, I guess they're not as developed as some of the other men, so quite, you know, a few wins gets you right in the mix of the title hunt. Do you believe yeah. that beating a former champion is going to do that for you and get you in that kind of title tour? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, with the win over uh, Carla, you know, I'll definitely get to uh, fight for the belt soon. You know, I think maybe one, maybe two more fights. It just depends on, you know, them, you know, and... Um, you know, once I put on a dominant performance, I think they'll definitely be like, okay, she needs a number one contender. When I was talking to Carla, she was talking about, you know, she says you have incredibly good wrestling, but she thinks that she kind of edges you in other areas of the game. Do you think, well, I'm guessing you probably think the opposite to that, but what's kind of your assessment of Carla and what she brings to the table? I think Carla's only seen, you know, a very small fraction of what I can do. So she'll be very surprised on Saturday. How does it end? <laughs> I'm gonna win, you know. It doesn't doesn't matter how I'm gonna win, but I'm gonna win, and it's gonna be in a dominant fashion. You know, I know in you all guys. Areas. <laughs> I know you guys don't like to, I guess, uh, think ahead of, of the f next fight coming up. Right. But is there anyone in your mind that you're you don't have to say? But uh, have you kind of plotted that route to the title yet? Um, no, I don't really do that. You know, I just kind of focus on whoever is in front of me, and then I know, like, if I, you know, when I take care of business, you know, things come. You know. Um, when you get a win, they they cannot deny you. You know, they're like, okay, well, since she beat this girl, she has to go up and you know, in in competition, and that's just how it is. So that's why you know, um, people have have been saying like, oh, I don't feel like Tatiana gets the attention that she deserves, and this and that. And I'm like, I don't really care because it, you know, once you once you win and once you get, like, I feel the same thing with um, you know Habib. You know, he didn't really get it too much attention for a while and now he's a champ you know and you can't deny him you know so uh that's kind of how i feel about me like i don't really care as you know i just got to take care of business and when i get that belt then you know the rest is inevitable that's when you get the respect so tatiana <laughs> thanks for your time uh, thank you. we'll see you on saturday night thank you thank